Oh man. We're all outside, and you're joining us. Hmm? Hannah, give her a bottle. Hannah. Hannah. Hmm? Where'd you go, Where Mum? does she I'm so go? sorry. I, um... I've been drifting lately quite a bit, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm aware. Eddie, I was thinking we could just... tone it all down. Maybe just... I don't know, I don't think we have to go so crazy with it. Y yeah, I thought you wanted a big wedding. I thought I wanted it. I wanted to want it, but it's just so expensive. Yeah, no, easy, it's done. God, for a second, I thought you were gonna say you didn't want to get married at all. I just thought I was being selfish. That I could just stick it out, and eventually I would feel how I was supposed to. You didn't want to hurt me, huh? And I love you so much. Even still, it's just not. Fuck I don't... you, Danielle. How? Why are you doing this to me? Because. I, um... What, do you want to be married to someone who's not in love with you? Eddie, Let me go! I'm sorry! Jesus, have you not? You've done enough! I'm sorry. Oh, God. Eddie! Eddie! <laughs> oh! Eddie! Oh, mate. You know, in the old days, I mean, the really old days, we used to build giant bonfires at this time of year, talk about the people they'd lost, toss in offerings to drive away evil spirits, old bones mostly. I remember that, that, that that's why they call it a bonfire, isn't it? As I was saying, that's why it's called a bonfire. <laughs> From the old English meaning bonfire. Rebecca Jessel. Oh my God, it's been almost a year. She's still worth 10 of that man, I won't say his name. She was brilliant. She was beautiful. And she was punished for it. I don't know why brilliant young women always punished. Rebecca. All right, my turn. Oh, God, this episode. Dominic and Charlotte, who were good people. But here's Danny Clayton. She's a bit of a weirdo, but she's a lot stronger than she thinks. And if anyone can bring Miles and Flora back to themselves, she can. I'm glad she's here. I think they would be too. What about you, Poppins? Poppins. No, thank you. Oh, let it out, Danny. It's all right. My mum, Margaret Sharma, she was 67. Except sometimes, by the end, she forgot that. Called me by my dad's name or her brother's. They didn't say any of that at the funeral. They wouldn't. They didn't say how funny she was. She had a sweet tooth and a dirty laugh. And she loved me so hard, it hurt. And I miss her. Oh, man. sympathy and feel like the worst shit in the world.
Thank you. Forgive me. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I be freak in the fuck out. Excuse me! The au pair was tired, yet without even realizing she was doing it, she found herself taking her own advice that she'd given to Miles. She'd chosen someone to keep close to her that she could feel tired around. So what's wrong? That is on. Pulls. Is Jamie the one telling the story? Is, is old Olivia grown up? Jamie, I was, I was just wondering that because she, the, Jamie has a northern accent and I'm wondering if it's Olivia, the accent she's struggling to replicate is Jamie's accent. Okay, that's all. Clay. Peter Quint, it's not the first time I've seen things that aren't there. So what else? Told you about my fiance earlier, didn't I? Oh, he did. We were engaged and he, he died. I see him. I've never told anybody that. I'd broken, we had broken up. I'd broken up, I guess, right before. Right before. Jesus, Danny, the same day. Hour. Yeah. Is he here now? Because, you know, I'll sort him out for you if I have to. Oi! Dead boyfriend! <laughs> Give it up, mate! It's <laughs> over! Kiss her! How are you still standing? I think I'm crazy. I think it's surprisingly sane, considering. I feel like you can't find him. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus, that cooled my jets. I'm sorry, just... No, 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 no. Jamie? You were just telling me, literally telling me that you weren't up for this. Just no. let's let's get back. Mm -hmm. uh, another night, maybe. Another time, maybe. Dang it! Fuck off, Edmund. Was that the au pair had been telling herself to wait another night, another time, mm. for years and years? Yeah. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, Danielle. Uh, you, you've not been answering your phone, so I thought I'd come around. Oh, I'm sorry, Judy, I, um... I, I brought something else, too. It's, um... Not I thought you might like to have these. <sighs> come here, come on. It's just the worst. Oh. Because she knows they would hate her if... Oh, what? They knew. It was 1987. People were not very forward-thinking. Okay, um, I, I actually have some stuff I need to get done. Oh, sure, yeah. of course. Um, please, please come by for dinner any night. Bye, sweetheart. Oh, wow. This is her leaving. That was the cap, what the taxi cab was about. Hannah Gross in Paris. You and me while we still can. So sorry to interrupt, but I'm turning into a pumpkin. Mm. I'll call you later. <laughs> it's all good. Mm. Just for 
fucking burn the things. Miss Clayton? She knows she's moved because she's not in the... To the lady in the lake! Miles! Oh no, fuck this! No! Oh god, it's the Miss Clayton! F Flora had a nightmare. I'm quite frightened. It was a horrible dream. Oh, they well, you should be in bed. Not that I won't. A creature. A creature in my bed. And it knew my name. And it was reaching out and it knew my name. And it said it wanted to do awful things. Shit. And it had bones for hands. That sounds awful. That sounds like an awful dream. Oh my god. <sighs> Could I have a glass of milk? Of course. <sighs> wow, well done, kids. She's gone. I'm sorry. There's nothing to be scared of. Quite right. Yeah. Footprints. Talk about this in the morning. That's all in the background. Oh, fuck off. I'm f I'm done with your bullshit, Edmund. It's just you and me, then. Hmm? I love this fucking show. Every time you think you know what's going on, they upend you. So now we know, Mr. I didn't get it right about the headlights. It's Edmund, she's gay. I didn't want to make that assumption because she could have been bi, she could have been in love with Edmund and in love with Jamie, but what it looks like is that she was gay. She wasn't really able to tell anyone. You know, they're childhood sweethearts, so they, got together before she probably even had a idea of what her true sexuality was. And I, I thought when he was doing the speech that she was sort of, she didn't seem fully present and engaged in that. But then it really became clear when she was having the dress fitting, you know, kind of what was, what was going on there. Um, I really just, I love her and Jamie together. I am starting to think that Jamie is the one telling us the story. Um, she's fantastic. I love her character. I think Jamie is like my favorite character, but but her and, um, her and Danny together is just scrum diddly dumptious. I'm proper happy about that. I would have preferred it wasn't interrupted by Edmund, if I'm honest. And I don't know if he's going to piss off now, that's the end of it, or, you know, with the, with the bone fire, or whether, because now that's happened on the grounds, we're going to see more of him just wandering around, because he's no longer, she's no longer just seeing him in reflections, she's seeing him, like, just show up in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a moment. So there's that. We've also learned it looks like so Flora was saying, "Don't move thing people. You know, don't move the dolls around in my house. I have a system." And it looks like she knows where each spirit is in the house at any time, based on where it is in the doll's house. 
and it seems like you really need not to mess you, it sounds like you need to really not mess with the plans of the lady in the lake I mean that seems to be the gist of that um, they really didn't want her to see her um, I mean they would have been visible to her if she'd looked around but I'm thinking there must be more to it than that you know maybe she doesn't bother you as long as you don't like fuck with her route I'm sure though at some point somebody's gonna fuck with her route we're gonna find out what happens and I really don't think it's gonna be good I thought the whole bonfire sequence was just beautiful Owen talking about his mum just destroyed me I was in freaking bits for that um the whole episode was just fantastic. It was so viscerally real and you feel their pain when they're expressing it because it is so fundamentally human, this show. And that's what I love about it. You know, the jump scares are fantastic, but the real meat of the show for me is it's the characters, it's the people that we meet and the pain that they are attempting to process in order the, for them to be able to live full lives. That, to me, is the heart of this show. And, you know, they began doing some of that in this episode, I believe. You know, um, Danny got to throw the bloody glasses away, but also instead of jumping and recoiling at Edmund, she was just able to look at him and that tells me that kind of that's how she feels about her guilt and her shame is that she doesn't need to run from it anymore she can look at it and then hopefully over time start to process it if she lives makes out the fucking season that'd be nice the same with owen i liked seeing the kids in a different light of actually they were they are what hannah said they are they do appear to be protecting people from what is going on in Bly manner hannah is still a mystery to me i'm waiting for the hannah episode so we can find out what's going on because i am something clearly is she's disappearing you know kind of mentally for moments and i you know we were just talking about dementia so i really don't want to you know i don't want that to be the case that you know she's floating off but something has happened she's said about her wedding but there's no mention of her husband currently and she is living in bly manor so i don't understand what the story is there with the with the husband did he die are they divorced I don't, I don't think she'd still be wearing a wedding ring if they were divorced so it would imply that he died and she seems really close to owen and i'm not sure how like what the nature of their relationship is i think he's clearly in love with her and i think she loves him but i don't know if she's in love with him but they do have a wonderful relationship. And I just, I want to know what her deal is. I want to know what's happened to her. Because she's, you know. And also I want to see the parents. Like I really want to see the pa what happened to the parents. The parents was two years ago and Rebecca was a year ago. Is this stuff happening on an anniversary? Because if so, someone else might be about to die. Because we're up on that anniversary again and who's viola lloyd because that was the etching that um that flora made for danny and i'm thinking why would they show that they must have shown it for a reason who's viola lloyd and what significance is that going to have to the story there's just so much. I'm sure I'm still going to add, have to add notes even into this because there was so many times that I was noticing things and not wanting to talk about it because a scene was going on. But also loved the background ghosts this episode. They were some humdingers. That guy in the knickerbockers was hilarious. Um, 
yeah, I just, I could chat all day about this freaking show. It is fantastic. I really hope you enjoyed this reaction. Um, you know, come and join us on Patreon if you want to discuss more because we've got a Discord server and we're all in there chatting about this show anyway. But until the next time, bye-bye. Thank you for being a friend.